Hi, I'm Pete from Tint World, and today we're going to install a blind spot detection system in this Porsche 911. I want to talk a little bit about the differences between blind spot detection systems that are on the market. This system that you see right here shows a couple of the sensors that are typically used in many blind spot detection systems. And I'll show you in a second the difference between the system that we use here. This system is more or less basically just sensors that you would typically have in a reverse parking system. The problem with that is it will often lead to false sensing and in many instances they won't even sense the vehicle at all, which becomes a major problem with a key safety feature such as a blind spot detection system. The other problem that you have when you're dealing with ultrasonic sensors is that you end up having to cut into the bumper of the vehicle itself. So all of these sensors that you see here always come in the kit with an actual hole saw. And with this hole saw, you then take it and drill into the bumper of your vehicle. I couldn't imagine wanting to drill into the bumper of my Porsche 911. So now we're gonna take a look at the radar-based blind spot detection system that we use here at Tint World. This system is designed specifically for blind spot detection, and it's very similar to the same systems you have from the factory. So when you buy a brand new vehicle and it has blind spot detection system in it, it's using sensors like these. These radar-based sensors have up to 30 feet of detection, and with 30 feet of detection, you don't run the risk of driving down the road and turning with your blind spot not being detected. Nicest thing about these is that they're installed inside the bumper, not with a hole saw mounted to the outside of the bumper. So they're completely invisible. Another key difference between these sensors and cheaper sensors that are on the market is that these have OEM quality connectors. And there's a big difference between the larger connectors on these and the small connectors that you find on those. Also, a very cool feature with this blind spot detection system is this little box that you see right here. This is actually an onboard computer that interfaces with the CAN bus system in the car. And what that does is it allows the, the blind spot detection system to detect your speed. So when you're stuck in traffic and you're traveling at three or four miles an hour, it's not gonna keep alerting you, telling you that there's someone in your blind spot. When you're stuck in traffic, you know there are people in your blind spot. Now, let's take a look at the installation. Let's take it out and see the system in action. You'll notice that the indicator lights up each time a vehicle comes into my blind spot. Then, if I attempt to change lanes, the audible alert will warn me when someone's in my blind spot.